So last month, people from Gammon contacted me and asked if I could review one of their graphic tablets. And I said yes. The pen boasts up to 8192 level of pressure sensitivity, it supports up to 60 degree tilt control, and it's battery free so you don't need to charge the pen. The graphic tablet itself has 8 express keys on the left and 1 touch ring. The top edge is then sprinkled with 13 multimedia keys. This tablet is not wireless, so you do need a wire to connect it to your computer or laptop. After using this tablet for a few days, I have a few things I have to say before getting into the review. Going back to using a graphic tablet for a very long time was really awkward for me. It took a very long time for me to get used to it again. There's also a question of ergonomics. I heard a lot of people prefer working on a graphic tablet because then they would sit up straight instead of becoming a modern dinosaur. This also depends on how your table and chair is set up. I believe it's easy to just then grab the tablet and put it on your lap to draw on, but you're no longer drawing on a flat surface. So if you're just putting it on your lap, the weight distribution would be kind of funky and you would be drawing and the tablet would be tilted all over the place. So those are my thoughts in terms of personal experience before using and while using it. Now to actually review the product itself. First is the build of the tablet. The materials used for the tablet are strong and durable. The feedback of the button is clear and if you press it, it does sound like this. The graphic tablet surface is smooth to draw with, but for some reason I much prefer the sticker surface. As for the size, like I mentioned a while ago, the workspace is wide and big enough that it's comfortable to move your hand around. The shortcut buttons in the end, I didn't use them, I just used my keyboard instead. I think the shortcut buttons are useful if you're using the graphic tablet on a phone. The express keys on the top are good to have but it gets in the way when I rest my wrist. I tend to press them accidentally and I don't know what's going on whenever it does happen. I suggest that if you are using this and you're using the keyboard for shortcut instead of the shortcut keys, maybe put the keyboard somewhere on the side. This could also mean that it's gonna take up some space on your desk. Now for the pen's build. The material used for the pen feels premium to me. It's comfortable to hold and use in long extended period of time, even though it's much thinner than the other stylus pen that I'm used to. I usually use the button on the pen and I didn't find any trouble using them considering its size. In the next segment, we're going to test the tablet's driver's responsiveness and compatibility with other drawing programs. So the first program that we're going to test with this tablet is TV Paint itself. And as you can see right off the bat, without changing anything in your preferences and settings, you'll notice the lines that you're drawing is a little bit wobbly here and there. And to fix that, we're going to go to Edit, Preferences, and then turn on your subpixel, and then press Enter. And as you can see, now the lines that we draw are a lot smoother compared to what we have here. So just for comparison, that's what we have without the sub pixel turned on and this is what we have without and this is on now we're going to test the uh, tapering effect and it does happen a lot if we're drawing really fast of course we're just gonna draw this fast if you have cross hatching or speed lines effect in your animations or drawings uh, pressure sensitivity in TV paint the initial startup as you can see is a little bit scuffed uh, I am touching this, the, the tablet but it's not recognizing it so now I'm just gonna do this 
if I can do it correctly just to show off the sensitivity there you go it f works just fine so now we're gonna go to clip studio paint so for clip studio paint as you can see the tapering is still there as you can see there the pressure sensitivity is just fine as it is Photoshop uh, tapering is still existent there uh, pressure sensitivity is good uh, Krita is probably one of the best out of this four because of the responsiveness of the program for the pressure sensitivity as you can see here uh, next is the tapering it does still exist if you're drawing really fast that's all I hope this helps out if you're trying to buy this tablet and deciding which program uh, is the best and I think Krita holds on because it's free and you know it's responsive with all its tracking and all that stuff so yeah thank you past Ilios for making it short now something I'd like to point out anyone can draw anything with whatever they have having a better setup or hardware helps to speed up the process but it doesn't mean your drawing will be better and that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to review this graphic tablet I wanted to see if this graphic tablet would be a great choice for aspiring digital artists who want to try out digital art for the first time. The price is 90 US dollars and that's not including the shipping. In my opinion, the price is reasonable and it fit the product for what it's worth. But this doesn't mean it's the perfect product. Like I mentioned in this video, there are some up and down. For instance, I did have trouble with the drivers. If I wasn't living on the other side of the planet, things would have been gone by in just a day. But the driver tech support is consistent, they try to reply as soon as they can, and they're really helpful. I trust that they are lenient with their tech support when having driver issues with their clients. This is to say that every now and then when you're buying a tablet, Wacom or not, sometimes you do face some driver issues. And sometimes in the instruction, they don't mention that you must use a specific USB port. They don't mention that you have to use a USB 3 port, the blue one, to connect your tablet. Or in some cases, your OS, Mac, or Windows, it might need some form of update before installing the driver. I would like to personally thank Mia from Gaumon for sending me a graphic tablet to review and if you have any sort of questions feel free to ask in the comment section and see you around. That's it for me. Thanks for watching.